<laughs> hey you! My name is Stefan, and welcome to Rakien. Or Rakien. Rak. I'm not really sure. It's Japanese, and if if you can't tell, I'm I'm not Japanese. I I see the world in 16 by 9, not 20 by 2. <laughs> welcome to uh, Rakien. I had to look up what this meant because it is Japanese, and it means paradise or like Garden of Eden. So um, yeah. That, that's what that means, so if you're not Japanese too, now you know as well. It is uh, inspired by To The Moon and made by Laura Shigihara. It's also a very <laughs> difficult word. Laura Shigihara. You may know her, uh, she made the, uh, she was like the lead sound designer on Plants vs. Zombies, which is one of my personal favorites. And she made, or I don't know if she made it, but at least she made a cover of uh, Everything's Alright from uh, To The Moon, which is uh, like an, in top three of my favorite songs of all time, if not the top. She's really talented, that's what I'm trying to say. So bring yourself a, uh, a warm cup of cocoa, because this game is going to be it's going to be emotional and it's going to be cozy and it's just going to be an amazing story. And it's been a while since we did uh, since we did shit like this, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. It's a good cup of cocoa. Let's do this, guys. Ah, it's 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 adorable already. Controls, arrow keys, not the numpad. All right. Uh, space and enter. Confirm. Interact with people. All right. Q. Talk with mom. I don't want to talk with mom. And escape is cancel slash menu quest journal. Got it. I'm gonna forget that, but I got it. Oh, we're in a hospital. It was inspired by To The Moon, which was all about illnesses and going through life as a person. Who, who's there? I'm gonna try my best to do the voices. Just let me know if it gets too much. Oh, it's yummy. Hey. Uh, how, how, how did you get in here? Uh, your, your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Yarmi. I live across the hall. Did, did you just move in or something? Uh, nope. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out from my, oh, but they never let me out of my room. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> uh, promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, right? <laughs> I promise. So, uh, how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Oh, someone's coming. I was about to swear, but I'm like, these are children, probably not. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hi, Yami. Oh, hey, wait! Uh, yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime? It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room, numbskull. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promise. Y y Yami. Where did you go? Well, he left through the door. I'm gonna assume that you're on some medication right now, because he even said, like, hey, I'm gonna go. And now you're all like, where did he go? He went. Oh. Can I? Oh. That's not how pets work. <laughs> so this is clearly RPG Maker. There's no, like, that's completely alright. What's this hat you're wearing? It's like a paper hat. It looks a bit like a samurai or something. Can I? An origami hat. That's what I said. Yeah. Treatment guide. Okay. Patient 237. Huh. <sighs> The Japanese was bad enough. Pemetrex to sodium, 800 milligram. Ah, uh, once, blah, blah, blah. 
carboplatin. Oh, my, my mate Kevin would know this. He's soon to be a doctor. And a handsome one at that. He would know what that is. Hello? Nope. Okay. An ivy bag filled with saline solution. Am I not supposed to be hooked up to that thing? Or I guess the bed just gets the saline? That's fine, I guess. I was planned that looks like it could use some water. I don't have any. Oh, I have some saline, but salt water probably kills it. Yeah, the lamp works. There's no one to talk to here. All right. That one works too. A mirror. Gonna guess that. Fill the sink with water. Yes, I can give the plant some water. I guess. I think it's filled with water. Okay. I need a container of some sort. Can I carry you? I can't carry you. What about in here? Open the cabinet. Yes. The cabinet is empty. Damn it. Oh. Uh, hello? H hello? Oh, I can't do a mom voice. Hello, dear. It's mom. M mom just wanted uh, <clears throat> just wanted to let you know that my train was still late so I'm gonna be a bit late that's gonna get annoying I'm not gonna do that voice <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a smoother voice oh uh, okay I'm sorry dear I'm going as fast as I can it's okay mom I understand but I'm off to work this week and I dropped off your little brother at grandma's so, uh, we'll be spending a lot more time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like your own little party. My phone is going off. That's the Pikachu you can probably hear in the background. Go away. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love you, Boo. I love you too, Mom. Bye. Oh. I'm in bed. Ooh, get in bed. Well, well. Oh, that's not a dude. <laughs> well, well. I see you're wide awake and walking around. Uh, no one told me I couldn't walk around. <laughs> okay, wise guy. Got a couple of things to tell you. First of all, some good news. The tests have come back. And it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. Hey, I can go see Yami. Y you mean... I I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast there. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Ah, uh, that was probably Yami. Since the wing was so locked up last night, we believe the thief, thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, uh, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. I have belongings? Oh no! It's gone! Uh, d d doctor, they, they took it! They took Rakian! What did they take? Rakian! It's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's a tradition. <laughs> okay, calm down. Uh, what did your book look like? Huh. Um, it has a brown cover. It looks very old. And and there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take children's storybook. Wait. What? Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track it down. Oh, to track down the theme. It's Yami. 
I bet Yami took it and he's reading in it, but it's okay. Mom is gonna be so sad. Aw? She seems nice. You know what, Kit? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Oh, I'll get my book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Bye oh, that was a way out. Bye. Never tried this door. The door's... Fuck. There's a sign on the door. Read it? Yep. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Ah, God. Okay. So I guess we won't be able to go in there. I need a container for the plot. I don't have it. Fuck it, let's roam the halls. Boys room, <laughs> okay. Guess I was patient 237, right? Oh, I can go into it, okay. Tony's room. Hey, I heard you had a pretty tough day today. Hey, in there, alright? Great, thanks. I guess? Can I read the clipboard? Hospital admittance form number two, okay. Let's go talk to Tony. Tony, did you steal my book? What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! It figures when I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? I don't know. Is this my book? Book about airplanes. That's not my book. You are mean. I'm gonna unhook your IV. And put P in it instead. I'll teach you. Old grumpy grandpa. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands! Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah, old man? I will pull out your urethra. A catheter, that's what it's called. The catheter, right? English. The catheter goes into the urethra, but sure. Or pull that out too. Grumpy old dude. Oh, wrong button. Treatment guide. Patient 196. Blood samples. Hey, I got your blood. Oh, it's a nurse. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? I see what you mean. I'm gonna get him his coffee. Open the cabinet. Yep. You found 5G. I found five grand. I'm rich. Bye, Tony. Oh, the door is locked. Okay. Let's see. Coffee. Coffee. Can you give me coffee machine? Are you a coffee machine? A semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? Hot coffee! Oh, I'm restocking soon. Hot coffee will be restocked as soon as our shipment arrives, shift leader. Well, Tony, they're all out. I tried. I tried. Device used to measure height. Okay. Open the locker. Yep. You find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. I don't even know what scrubs are. I have a menu, right? Item. I don't have a scrub, I guess. Find out who stole your book? Yep. <laughs> How's your day, detective? Were you coming along? Find any good leads? I didn't even answer her. Alright, so we can't help Tony yet, because the coffee machine is out. Who's in here? Door is locked. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Well, that makes it harder. Yep. Folders filled with medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the folders. Look underneath, yep. You find five, yeah, I found 5G. I'm rich. I'm just running around stealing people's money. <laughs> the cabinet is empty, ah. You're a painter. That's Cora. Hey there. Ah. Uh, what's up? <laughs> hey, uh, I don't think we've formally met. Oh, Cora, it's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. I think you're the only person in the world with a pink mohawk. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. 
<laughs> She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. You know, a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Oh. Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd all be worth it. Hey there. Um, did you hear about the thief, Cora? Oh, dude, yeah! Jeff Panky came out here early and he was not happy about it. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? Can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I tried. Uh, tell me about the folks here. Um, Tony. Uh, just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he got with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have such a sweet little music box? Who do you want to know about Sue? Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. That's pretty much all she talks about now. Who do you want to know about? Uh, Jackie. Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know uh, about any techni anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Uh, never mind. Bye. Is this the blood draw place? That's Jackie. <laughs> you have a teddy bear in your hair. Hello, small child. What brings you to the blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> uh, what can I help you with? Uh, what's up? Sometimes I like to complicate things like, why are there only two eggs laying mammals in the world? Oh, why are there only two egg laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and Echnina. Echina? Echidna. Ech. What? Families have hopped on that bandwagon. Platypus, that. I, I don't know. I, this might be uh, looking too much into it, but platypus could be a reference to To the Moon. What if I could lay eggs? I'd be laying eggs all the time. Ah, uh, you're fucking weird. Uh, wh uh, what can I help you with? Did you hear about the thief? <laughs> Come in here. I'll let you in know a little secret. Have, uh, have you noticed anything strange about the hospital? Huh? Uh, not really. I mean, you're pretty strange. I mean, uh, but what? Uh, a while back, I started noticing cryptical messages written all over the place. And last night, I, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... I, I was told that closet had been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. Well, what did they look like? Uh, I don't know, I, I only saw them out of the corner of my eye. And for about a second, so unfortunately, I, I, I can't say. What can I help you with? Um, tell about the folks here. Who would you like to know about? Panky. Children I love, sh sh Chef Pink. Oh, the children love Chef Pinky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them an ice cream. I have a bad day! Ha, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Who would you like to know about? Uh, Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going, uh... We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. Oh yeah. Dude, I remember my grandma when she got old and like you went in there and she couldn't remember who you were. But 
when you started talking to her, suddenly, like, she would mention, remember when we used to do this? And it's like, you do know who I am. It was a weird time. That was a weird experience. What do you- Oh, that's a good cup of cocoa. You should get yourself a cup of cocoa. Oh, what, what do you mean? Well, for example... Recently, the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, oh, man. But hey, maybe you know something we don't. Maybe he was looking for, uh... Buried treasure. Oh god, you're fucking weird. Who would you like to know about? Uh, Danielle. Uh, Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sues, so she sues the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Who would you like to know about? I'm just saying, if this game is good, Shigihara, you better make plushies. i see you later. Bye, nerd. I'm gonna steal some needles. No? I, I can't steal any other needles. I was just kidding, you shouldn't do that. Did you call me? Uh, I guess? Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're- oh, it's a shift leader, they're always really annoying. Uh, you know we're short-staffed. <sighs> fine. I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Oh, poor you. I'm gonna help you fix that bathroom. Gemma and Sue's room. Gemma, maybe? It's so- Hey! Well, what are you doing? I, uh, uh... Is this a girl's room, you know? But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Okay? Ah, the toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. I gotta fix it, fucking shift leader. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Okay. Winston. Um, how are you? <laughs> Did someone say peanut butter? <laughs> how are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now. <laughs> but I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. How are you doing today? Hmm? Peanut butter? Yeah, about the thief. Hey, have you not noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? Well, I've been told that those are areas... Uh, uh, that, that, fuck. That those areas have been long closed off, even to the staff. But uh, recently I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. How, how, how are you doing today? What about the folks here? How, how, how would you like to learn about soup? Uh, on occasion, I've... I take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly at certain nights. Uh, who would you like to, to learn about Tony? Well, I believe that Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Yeah, that's kind of like my family, man. Cora. I heard that uh, Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. It's so difficult to do voices when I can't hear my own voice. That was a burp. Uh, last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes? Huh? Peanut butter? Who would you like to learn about? Ah, uh, never mind. Yep. This person is out. Out for the count. Yep. It's empty. God damn it. All right, you'll... Wait, I'm gonna read these first. Patient, blood samples, thermometer. Anoxic brain injury, stage one coma. Respiratory therapy session. Oh. Oh. Hi, right, Sue. So you wanna use the bathroom, eh? Oh, well, I, I guess. Yeah, I get it. Well, I gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's bathroom, you know? Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? 
See that jar next to me? Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use the bathroom whenever you want. Do you, do you think you could do that for me? <laughs> I'll try my best, that's for sure. Thank you. Last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. I'll check around there. They could all use some water in here. They all get saline. Alright, bye, I'm out. Can I speak to you? Quit bugging me. <clears throat> Wasowski, quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. I can't do it. <laughs> That's such a good. If you guys have seen, if you haven't seen Monster Sing, rather, you should go watch it. I fucking love that lady. Which is like Wasowski. <laughs> She's fucking awesome. My stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo choo. She doesn't really look like she has that voice, does she? <laughs> Hospital admittance forms. Eight F. Hey, don't touch that. Can't you see I'm working here? Uh, you're kind of just standing there. But that's okay. That's cool. Door's locked. It appears that there's a tunnel running through here. It's been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right to- I need like an X. Where the hell am I gonna get an X from in a hospital? Yep. A soup ladle that is caked with mud is laying on top of the old- Okay. Looks like there's something beneath the ladle. Yep. You found 5G. I am rich. Pimpin' ain't easy. A thermometer. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of... Okay. Based on the results of uh, Kizaburo's brain scan, we believe the Medish... Jesus Christ metastasis to be a cause uh, for his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Oh. Hi. I haven't seen you in a long- I- oh, what voice are we gonna give this dude? Cause he's like old, but he looks kinda cool. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. You need something. Did you hear about the- th oh, did you hear about the thief? I I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here for after f f f hours. <laughs> I feel like he should have like a deep soothing voice. I can't do that though. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Oh, he kind of looks like the old dude from, uh, Aya, Jackie! You know what I mean by saying that if you've seen it. Which means they obviously had some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. Just a fucking emo kid from the beginning. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. You need something? Tell me about the fox. I'm not one for gossip. You need something? Ah, he's a neat dude. Let me, let me, let me, I can't look at the flower. What? No, no, can't, okay. I'm out. I'm actually gonna end the first episode here. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really like the game so far. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the, uh, like, the background music? Like, this game has no... I was about to say no audio, but what I meant is, that, like, it has no dialogue, there's no crazy sound effects, it's just, it's just really well-composed music. And it, it's at such a good mood. I don't know about you guys, I feel fucking fussy inside and cozy, and I, I hope that you do too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you guys around for the next one.
拜耶哦。